The type tool can be found on the tools panel. It is represented by a large letter T. For those of you that like keyboard shortcuts, the letter T can be used to switch to the type tool. There are two types of text you can work with in Photoshop. They are editable text and rasterized text. We'll talk about editable or vector-based text first. Text in its editable state can be modified in a variety of ways. Change the typeface and or font family. Change the words and letters. Change the size. Change the color. Change the format, horizontal versus vertical or point versus paragraph. Change the paragraph settings. Apply paragraph styles and layer styles and so on. Do not rasterize your text, which means to convert it to pixels, unless you are doing so for a specific and purposeful reason. You'll, you lose many of these editing benefits once the text has been converted from editable text to rasterized text. When type is added to a document via the type tool, a new type layer is automatically added to the layers panel. The type will be editable by default and can be horizontal or vertical in orientation. Press and hold the type tool in the tools panel to switch from horizontal type to vertical type. So I'm going to jump over to Photoshop for a minute and show you what I mean by that. I have a document that's been created and I'd like to add some text to it. And if I would like to add text, the first thing I should do is find the type tool on the tools panel. It's hanging out over here on the left hand side and you can either select it with your mouse or you can press the T for type tool and it will switch to the type tool for you. If you push and hold on the type tool, there's the horizontal type tool and that's default um, or there's the vertical type tool. And so let's make default horizontal type first. And when we click, a layer is automatically created. So I haven't actually put any type into the document yet. But if we look at the layers panel, a new layer, layer 2, has already been created. And it's a type layer. And I can tell that by the giant letter T on the layer. If I start typing, fun, because editing text in Photoshop is fun, you can see that the name of the layer has been changed to represent what is actually on the, type, the text or the type layer.